guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a new hair video. I told myself that this year in 2017 I was going to bring you guys more hair videos because I feel like last year I was just slacking on the hair videos. I am going to be sharing with you guys how I preserve my straight hair. So many of you guys have been asking me this question, so I wanted to share with you guys my secrets to keeping my hair schlickety schlickety straight. Now, I am not a hairdresser. I feel like I have to put this disclaimer in because somebody's going to comment and be like, girl, no, it's not the right way you do that. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm just saying I'm not claiming to be a hairdresser. I'm just saying that I have hair on my head and this is what I do that works with my hair. So if this helps you guys, I really hope it does. That is my goal in all of my videos, to help somebody out there who is looking for some tips and tricks. So hopefully you guys get something out of this video. So I do have to pause this video for exactly 45 seconds to bring you guys a message from our sponsors. Best Fiends is a free adventure puzzle game. I really enjoyed playing this game. It's very similar to games like Tetris and Diamond Dash, and those are some of my favorite games. So this game got me hooked so quickly. You can upgrade your characters by matching the same color objects to defeat these really gross slugs. You can also play on Facebook with your friends, and there are also leaderboards if you connect that way as well. Make sure you play all of the magical character quests to win exclusive prizes, such as gold. I'm currently on level 31. I'm stuck there. I've tried defeating this level so many times and sometimes I just have to take a break and then come back to it but I know I will defeat this game. So let me know what level you guys get to. Now you guys can download this free app and if you guys download through my link below you'll get free five dollars worth of gold and diamonds so check it out. Now if you guys want to know how I preserve my straight hair then just keep on watching and if you guys are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button. I try to upload new videos every Every single week I've been uploading so many new videos for you guys you guys are going to love it and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy now let's jump right in time. I did get my hair straightened the day after Christmas so my hair has been straightened today is the 18th now some of you guys may be thinking that's really gross that you go three four weeks without washing your hair but honestly I can do it like my hair doesn't smell my hair isn't oily or greasy and if it does I have some things that I do to combat that but I paid so much for this to be straight I am getting my money's worth now I got my hair straightened the day after Christmas but I have not touched my hair with any heat tools or blow dryers since that day I have not touched it with any additional heat and that is so important because I want to avoid heat damage the number one thing that I can say is you need to get satin everything. I have a satin pillowcase and I also have a satin bonnet. This is my satin bonnet. It is a reversible satin bonnet from a company in Michigan. I will link it down in the description box as well if you guys are interested in ordering this support local businesses but this is a really cool bonnet and it's big enough to fit my big head and that's really all I need in my life. This is going to keep your hair from kinking, frizzing, and it's going to preserve your blowout and your straightened hair. This is a lifesaver. I not only sleep with this satin bonnet on my head, but I also sleep on a satin pillowcase, so I'm double the satin. This is really simple. You guys are going to laugh, it's so simple. All I do is I brush my hair out with this tangle teaser, and this is a great brush because it does not rip your hair out. It's very easy and gentle on the hair and I really make sure to focus on getting the roots of my hair straight I just brush my hair upside down so this is not only good for hair growth, brushing your hair upside down, getting the blood flowing to your scalp, and it is also going to ensure that the roots of my hair are very straight. I don't want the roots of my hair to be kinky, so I make sure to really comb them out and make sure they're as straight as possible. And then I literally just 
twirl my hair up into a bun. Now this is not only going to preserve the roots of my hair, as you can see, this is very shiny and smooth. These baby hairs are out of control. My hair is very shiny and smooth, but it's going to ensure that I have a little bend at the end of my hair, which I think my hair flows a lot better when it just has a nice little bend in the bottom. I have tried the wrapping technique of wrapping my hair around my head. It just never works. It has never worked. I've tried clips. I've tried everything. Everyone keeps telling me I'm doing it wrong, but it just doesn't work. I don't like it. It just does not work for me. This works for me. And I just clip it with this simple little clip I got from Sally's. Now, if you guys don't like sleeping in a clip, I'm just used to it. I know where to clip it so that it doesn't bother me when I sleep. But if you guys don't like sleeping in clips, then I recommend using maybe something like a bobby pin or a hair tie that isn't going to cause any indents. And then all I do is I just put my satin bonnet on top and we're in business. And when I take it out, my hair is very voluminous at the root because I slept with it up all night. And my hair can fall very flat at the root. So I also like to do this just so I have added volume in the morning. I mean, who doesn't like added volume? So as you can see, I just gave my hair a little bit of volume, nothing crazy. When it comes to hair oils, I like to listen to my hair. If my hair is like it is now, it doesn't need any additional oil, but if my ends are starting to get dry, I can feel that they're getting dry, I will make sure to put some oil on the ends of my hair. I make sure to not go any higher than about here with my hair oil. Um, I'll usually start here, work it down, depending on how dry my hair is. I will take the remainder on my hands and just gently smooth down any flyaways that I have, but my hair is very moisturized at the moment. These are a couple of oils that I like to use. The first oil that I have been using forever, I, I used this in my How I Straighten My Curly Hair video back in the day, and this is the It's a 10 Miracle Styling Serum. Now, I've had this forever. I love using this. It just gives my hair the most healthy looking shine and really does calm my flyaways and it doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy which I really like. Having fine hair, a lot of oils can be really heavy on my hair and make it look really piecey and greasy. Piecey and greasy. Oh, this does not do that. The next two oils are oils that I would put on the bottom of my hair and the first oil would be the Mar Marrakesh oil and this is an oil that I recently received it smells amazing but this is the type of oil I would just focus on the ends of my hair at night when I'm going to sleep I would wrap my hair up in my little bun and then when I would wake up in the morning my ends would be very moisturized and sealed and would not be frizzy so I really like using this at night another one is the Derma E hair skin and nail oil I will put a, a tiny drop of this on the palm of my hands you don't need a lot you can overuse this on straightened hair it can come out a little greasy but if you use a small amount it will be perfection now my hair can get greasy it really depends on the type of products I use if I accidentally use too much so when that happens I make sure to use the Batiste dry shampoo this is just the brand that I have I only need the small bottle because I hardly ever use this I usually only use it once and it's just to soak up any extra oil and then my hair is usually fine um, for the remainder of the time I have my hair straight. Now, the next tip is one that I found in a magazine a long, long time ago, and it was one of the best tips I have ever found for preserving straightened hair. And it is instead of using a shower cap, use a microfiber towel or just a regular bath towel to wrap your hair up in the shower. I have been doing this forever and it works like a charm. I do the exact same thing that I do when I put my satin bonnet on. Take my turby twist, just stick it on the bun, roll it up, and this is how I look when I get into the shower. As you can see, none of my hair is out. You can see a little bit here, but I usually just tuck that down 
and it's gone. It's super simple. If I want some extra protection around my hairline, I will put a headband on, then I will put the turby twist on, and that seems to really help. I've just been doing that for so long. I'm used to showering like that. It is an adjustment. It's very rare that I get a lot of water that seeps through the actual turby twist so I love doing this it preserves my hair and it helps so much and every time I would use a shower cap my hair would just kink up my edges would be crazy and just my overall hair would just start to curl back and frizz and this tip is the best tip that I have ever found. So those are my tips on how to preserve straightened hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something today. If you guys did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week and leave me your hair request down in the comments section. So again thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!